And we are back, continuing where the last episode of Starfield left off. How you folks doing? I also realized, after selling my shit, there is a ship guy here, which is great, and I want to see what he has. Anything I can help you with? I'm sure you can find something you like. Can't afford it. Can't afford it. Almost afford it, actually. It kind of looks just like that one, but that one, I like the cockpit on that one. That one's like two ships in one. God damn, I can't afford nothing, motherfuckers. God damn. Sure, how about it? Well, here we go again. God damn it. Here we go again. Red, black. Okay, red. No, hang on. Wait, fuck. I fucked it. Okay, red. There you go. Okay, hold on. Let's do this the right way. So it should be, should be red, black, red. Or am I doing this wrong? Hold the fuck up. Am I doing this wrong? See right now, I don't even know what I'm doing half the time right now, <laughs> which is the irony of this. I think the lines were black. 
I think that was red, and I think that was black. I mean, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, I can change these. Cool. No, I wish we had some lights here, but we fucking don't. Okay, cool. I don't know how I just did that, but I think I'm going to do it again. Yeah, okay. And then that. Yep, accept, accept modification. Let's fucking go, baby. I just want a better cargo bay, man. That's all I fucking want. Looks to me like you've already in pretty... Okay, no problem. Well, and beautiful. Let me get a goddamn picture. Oh, yes. Hello, beautiful. I mean, yeah, the frame is nice, but I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Beautiful ship. Yep, okay, now we gotta go, I think, to him, or whoever the boss of this casino resort is. Everybody has fucking Don't cakes. Oh, and that may be a poncho. Okay. Well, I have to go talk to your leader. Welcome to Paradiso. Hello, welcome to Hotel Paradiso. You may continue inside to the main desk if you need to check in for your stay, or feel free to browse the shops along the promenade. 
Let me know if I can answer any questions you may have, or help you in any other way. What if I just want to use the beach? Unfortunately, the beach is reserved for hotel guests only, and that goes for the entire planet's beaches. The Paradiso Group owns all land on Parima 2, so you must either be a resort guest or have prior authorization for any public or private beach use. But, and you didn't hear this from me, security rarely has the bandwidth to patrol outside the main resort. Where do I find Oliver? If you have business with Oliver, you'll first need to speak with Kiwi, the board's executive assistant. You'll find them if you take the elevator up to the top floor and go down the hallway. Take care. <laughs> oh, this looks like a lovely place for a stay. Might also be the perfect time to stop for some food or a tranquility. Should we be well we're gonna go there and either fuck this up for these people or we're gonna help them out so hey hope you're enjoying yourself excuse me you can't just waltz in there do you have an appointment I kind of do you have a problem with shipping orbit I'm here to help oh you're the one they're waiting for then do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board What was everybody's thoughts when the ECS showed up? People were a little freaked out around here, understandably. It looks so different and it's so massive. We honestly thought we were under attack by an unknown entity. But then, nothing happened. It just stayed there. No one could communicate with it. And we've been very careful not to alert the resort guests. The board believed it would be... bad for business. What can you tell me about the board members? Anything <laughs> what at I all? I tell you would get me in a lot of trouble. Most of them are typical sea level execs. I doubt you even need to use your imagination for that. The ones that show up to work day to day, at least. I swear, I've never even met some of them because they chill at their own private, secluded beach homes all the time. Anyway, be smart around Oliver. He's got a way of getting what he wants without you realizing it. And that's all I'll say. Sure. Okay, I'm ready to go into the Have boardroom. Fun in the shark tank. Thank you. Oh, and don't not worry. the shark Even tank. Call it that. Wait, what? It may be I paradise. Probably say that doesn't mean we don't run into trouble from time to time. I just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenities. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Heck, no lucky, I'm not like the, the other board members. Lying about the beaches without a care in the universe. I understand you're the man with the money and the plans. I am, and you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally, I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke, but given the circumstances, I'm going to cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the. Aliens up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> People are never going to fall for that. Let's get to the matter at hand. Ah, we're being direct then. Good on you. <laughs> so, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? It's a generation ship, it's a rickety old earth ship, old earth colonist. What would you say if I told you it was an alien mothership here to destroy the planet? Uh, I, I could do the old exploit thing, or I could do the generation ship. Fuck. I want to see what this one goes with. Bonza! That means we got them right where we want them. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? 
outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. They can live here, but they'd be servants. You're suggesting I destroy the ship? <laughs> Oh, God. I'm not suggesting anything other than it would make our lives so much easier if that ship ceased existing. Make of that what you will. Why can't they just settle on this other planet or something? We own this planet. They don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with, and how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No, much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. I understand your point. You know, that's absurd. Well, absurd or not, that's our official stance. I make the decisions that are best for our entire group. You don't. I mean, if you're millionaires, why do I have to buy the drive? It's not our responsibility to bear the brunt of that cost. We're being more than generous by offering the use of our engineering team to help install it. A custom grab drive can't come cheap, and I assume they have neither the monetary means nor the connections to get a hold of that kind of technology. That leaves the only other party in this negotiation. You. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain. What if after all this, they continue to insist that their claim predates yours? They'd be hard pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. We may be outside the settled systems, but that child as official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Hypothetically, what can make a ship like that go away? I have no idea, because I'm not suggesting anything of the sort. But it's a wonder that old ship made it all the way here in such a relatively short time. Must have really been pushing themselves. An engineer friend of mine told me once that the reactors on those old ships have a tendency to self-destruct if they overload. Of course, their engineers must have taken great care not to push it too far. Someone would likely have to override the safety systems in the reactor computer. But who would do such a thing? Don't even think for one moment that this would be acceptable behavior. You can't just blow up their ship, that's insane. Guess we're tabling it for now. I've been working on a new marketing slogan. So what happens if I just kill this motherfucker? I am not going to help you murder these people. Really? Because they're kind of dead. Why oh, can't be a part of this? I mean, you don't have to help me murder Hello? these people. I didn't so. realize TV was letting people in here. Go on now. Enjoy Paradise Hunt. Fine, I guess I'll reload the save and then I will. I will. Oh, wow. It used this, that as my uh, loading screen. Cool, cool. Great picture. Um, it does sending Fallout 76 times. Nice. But that doesn't mean we don't run into trouble from time to time. I just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet. Not our just there doing my part to make sure Paradiso. People can go to any one of you, but keep oh, yeah. I understand you're the man. Yep. Given this yep. Circumstance. Yep. Yep. Oh, yep. Yep. Ah, we're being directed. 
It's a generation ship. Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. Now, tell me, what are we going... Hmm. They could stay here. Uh, we could even lend our... Sounds costly. Someone else. Oh, I swear this... Why do I have to buy a drive? It's not our response. We're being more than... A custom grip that leaves... The... Oh, I'm not suggesting anything. Oh, I need to say that specifically. This would be a mutual contract for room and board in exchange for services rendered. Of course, there's no telling how long this arrangement will last, given the substantial costs we'd need to take on in order to accommodate them here, including their continued room and board. But this may save the resort on operating costs in the long term, as we oh, bear like of our current you, banks there. Dude. <laughs> we own this planet. Imagine the landscaping disaster. No. That's absurd. Well, absurd or not? And which proposal will you? I'll buy the grab drive and convince them to settle elsewhere. Let's do that I again. Have no idea, but an engineer friend him. Someone would. Lock. Don't even think. For Maybe hard pressed to defend that. Client. We may be outside. I'm sorry, but you're. Shit! I will buy the grab drive. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck! I know this was a difficult decision. But if it's any consolation, I think you've made the right choice. Compared to the destruction of their vessel and relegating them to a life of servitude, I'd say this is the best chance they've got. Right. Yeah, and I'm not a, the you know, group. a morally corrupt asshole that. yet. Heck, it's the only thing we've really got to offer. Uh, I don't want to risk us coming off as just another artificial, shady, trash dog. Every time I want to buy a ship, I got to buy something else. God damn. First was my bounty, and that was my fault, but I wanted to do it anyway. And then it's all this I shit, just so fun times. Hi there. Your safety is our number one priority. some of the best private security in the settled systems. Beautiful ship, man. I'd still like to know how to sell my ship. Need some Hey, what can I do for you? Sure. How about I'm sure. Well, I guess that's how I would sell ships, but I would need to motherfucking sure. swap ship real it? quick. I'm going to have to grab everything out of the cargo hold and then sell it. That is the plan. Oh, recycled air. Just isn't the same as the real thing. This is gonna suck because I'm pretty sure all this shit's just the extra shit I have.
Wait, did I reload the save so back far that I ate all the food I could eat? Or I, I ate all the stuff that was for meds? Because now I'm back at low health again, so... Kiss the frontier goodbye, bud. Oh. Not I may be dying because of shit. Trade That's authorities great. always Fun dies. I'm sure you can find something you like. Okay, no problem. I'm sure you can find... Goodbye, my crappy friend. Yeah, of course it didn't let me fucking do it. God damn it. Gonna need that cutter back. I don't even know when the hell I got that, but that thing looks cool. that getting rid of that Oh, well, that's glitching. Trying to figure out which save doesn't get me screwed with all this weight now. Fun times, goddammit. Great. I don't know where we're going, but I, it won't let me sell the frontier, so I guess we're taking off. Let's put 
Wait a minute, I'm in the wrong ship! Fuck! Stay in orbit or jump. Your call. Fucking re-land real quick so I can swap back to my baby! Hell yeah! It is my sincerest wish that this humble robot God damn it. Let me swap back to my ship. Okay, no problem. I am dreadfully sorry. Okay, okay, so, really quick, since, you know, I'm currently safe, and I'm in the correct ship, I am going to end this episode here as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching, and hopefully I catch you guys in the next one, goodbye everybody, see you later.